take with Catherine Templeton. Um, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit and about your practice? Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Catherine. I have been practicing in the field of trauma therapy for about 30 years. Started as an infant, no, 30 years, um, mostly in the New Haven area. Um, and about 20 years ago, I was introduced into yoga practices, uh, mostly the asana, pranayama, the breathing practices, the movement practices of yoga, and then meditation practices. And then about maybe 15 years ago, I got curious as to why these practices created such an effect in my body and mind. And I started, uh, started to study Ayurvedic medicine, which is the medicine that is um, a sister science to yoga. And now I run programs with the Himalayan Institute, with Yoga International, here at the Connecticut Women's Consortium, um, and through other organizations to support the integration of Eastern and Western psychology with um, our daily applications to create you know, ease and steadiness in our lives. That's awesome. So how long have you been with us, the Women's Consortium? I have been, uh, well, I've attended the uh, Connecticut Women's Consortium as a trainee for a number of years. And then a dear friend of mine, Alice, Dr. Alice Forrester at the uh, Clifford Beers Clinic, suggested to me that I talk to you all about the programs that I run at the clinic using yoga and Ayurveda to support my clients who have done um, issues with trauma, mostly diagnosed with complex trauma, the children and also the families. Mm -hmm. And I did that. And about five years ago, I started creating trainings for you all to support our trainees. Nice. And so can you take us through what the day will look like in your upcoming training? Absolutely. So um, what we've done is, you know, obviously we brought all the trainings online because of what's happened with the trauma of COVID. Right. And so we've uh, created this training a little bit differently. I try to do things that are very experiential, but it's hard to do experiential things through the online cyber world, right? But we're yeah. still gonna give it a shot, so watch out. Yes. Um, so what we'll be doing is from nine to 12, we'll be meeting. Um, there will be a handout that will be available. I, I don't know if it'll be a download or how we'll get that to folks. You all, I'm sure we'll take good care of that. The handout will have um, specific types of practices, both um, general lifestyle practices, as well as yogic practices of breathing specifically more than movement. And then a reference list of several um, uh, easily accessible online practices for you and for your clients to get them started with mindfulness types of um, endeavors. For example, one to two minute breathing practices, which will help to create more vagal tone. Um, we'll be looking at what is the science of Ayurvedic medicine and how does it relate how does it integrate with what we know of Western psychology? Where are those natural intersections? And how do we use that information specifically with creating um, support for our window of tolerance? So we'll be looking at this through the lens of polyvagal theory. It'll be mostly um, uh, me presenting a theory and a concept and then offering folks opportunity to ask questions about that concept and then giving suggestions about a few how-tos Mm. to integrate that concept both for our your personal use because yes. you know we get a little burned out in our work so That's we right. want to build our stress resilience as well and mm -hmm. then how we can integrate it for example um uh, i'll have some cases that i'll be sharing for case review looking at how i do this information in relationships both to folks who have more anxiety or uh, oh. also folks who have more of the depression type of symptoms we see in trauma amazing well i look forward to being in the training with you um and, yeah if do you have any other things to say to folks um who are at home or you know are worried about how it's gonna work um on the virtual platform well you know it's i think we're all kind of zoomed out if you will i mean i know we've all been doing telehealth now since yes. march and um been taking our trainings mostly via telehealth or other types of online programming and I think the thing I can share with you is that I teach a good bit uh, online in my Ayurvedic program. Mm -hmm. And we do have a lot of videos available at Yoga International that we can give you a two-week free uh, membership for. So that way, when you write down some of the techniques that I'm talking about, you can actually go right online after the training at your own pace when you're able to do so. 
um, and check out the breathing practices and check out some of the daily diet and lifestyle suggestions. So you can read with a little more depth than what I'll be able to present with in three hours. Mm -hmm. The goal is to give you the outline and then for you to choose the things that will work best for your clientele and work best for yourself to decrease sort of secondary trauma the, that we see with families and your own potential burnout. Not just mm -hmm. because of the work that you do, but because of being in the pandemic, right? It's its own trauma. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And we're all trying to navigate that, right? We're all trying to figure out how can we live in this new way without our normal regularizing behaviors and activities. Mm -hmm. How do we deal with sitting six hours and listening to the client in this very intense way that Zoom creates without getting burned out? And Lord knows I've been burned out. So I've had to activate these techniques even more so for myself. <laughs> And I feel ebb and flow. You know, there are days that really I don't even seem to feel much relief in the technique. I have to step mm -hmm. back, kind of reinvent what I'm doing and go forward. So I'll be talking about that from a personal level as a, as a clinician, as well as working with these case examples. So hopefully you'll find that sort of integrative aspect of um, going to the techniques on Yoga International later uh, as an opportunity for you to look at this at your own pace and in your own mm -hmm. time. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. I know you're on the go, so I won't hold you up any longer. No but we look forward to seeing you soon. It's really exciting. Thanks, Annie. Take care, Gail. Thank See you guys soon.